Hey guys, it's Shadowlight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today it's another traditional speed paint, and this is my Christmas video speed paint thing. Yay! So, thank you to whoever subscribed uh, during my 3, five, 4, 5 months of uploading videos, and this is the first time I've actually really on schedule and in a very dedicated manner uploaded videos to YouTube. I've done like really really old speed paints like six years ago. I've done some Utao uh, song covers which are like very sparse. And this is the first time I've actually really dedicated some time and some skill and some effort into YouTube. So to the people who subscribe, we may be few but thank you very much. I do appreciate all of you who subscribed and watch my videos. I hope you will continue to stick with me until next year and as long as I continue to make videos. So, this video is going up early. It's on a Wednesday because Saturday is the 24th. And the 24th is a very special day for Filipinos. It's the Christmas it's the Christ It's the Christmas Eve celebration, also known as the Noche Buena here. So, usually you have this midnight feast and you kind of prepare for that early in the morning, sometimes the day before, sometimes after dinner or after lunch. It depends on what you're cooking. So I decided to free up three days before Christmas to deal and help with that. So this going up on a Wednesday. And then next week will be the New Year video, which will be a draw it again. And maybe I'll even show some progress throughout the years, maybe or the or Maybe the progress throughout the months type of thing. So, let's see. Yes. Next week will be on a Wednesday again. Instead of a Saturday because Saturday is the 31st. Which is in turn Buena Noche. Which is the celebration for New Year. So, this video and next week will be on a Wednesday. And the video after that will be on a Saturday. And I won't take any breaks because, well, I don't really have any plans or places to go or I don't have work so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's talk about the painting now. So the theme for this entire thing was, well, sort of wintry, cold, um, winter song stress theme. I really didn't actually super plan this out. I just kind of sketched before I started painting. And I came up with this pose, decided it looked like someone was singing, decided not to draw Elsa. <laughs> Kidding. I decided to just draw a song stress in the winter code. Maybe talking about winter or something. So just to spice things up on my channel, I decided to do a acrylic painting. And if you've watched some of my videos, I may have mentioned, or I believe I do, I have mentioned that I know how to paint with oils, acrylics, oil pastels, watercolor, and I know how to do realistic paint drawing with lead pencils. Except you only see me do digital works watercolor and colored pencils and colored pencils was even just self-taught so I decided to challenge myself a bit for the Christmas video and do an acrylic painting an acrylic painting is really tough for me mainly because it's not as maneuverable as watercolor and the paint for acrylic is very viscous and you need to master the right balance between water and paint so that your paint doesn't dilute. Also, with mixing the colors, if you add too much white, it becomes super pastel and it's hard to recover the pigment on the paint. And with um, with darker colors, if you add paints gray or black, it becomes super dark. So it was a challenge for me because I was used to watercolors and it was easy to mix and layer watercolors. And since acrylic is something similar to oil but a lot lot less flu uh, it's a lot less smooth it's rougher i guess than oil it's a lot more viscous than oil it dries fast so blending is really tough 
not to mention when you layer it on the canvas it doesn't really apply smoothly or it doesn't really get a lot of coverage and water is supposed to help you with that but then again mastering the combination between water and the paint is kind of tough another thing since it's not smooth or easy to apply doing small details is kind of tough with acrylic i'm usually using really big canvases or if i do use a 9 by 12 like this one i do close-ups or things that are easy to patch up but doing people and poses like this right now for my skill level it's very challenging but it's Christmas and it's a special video so I thought maybe challenging myself would be fun, maybe? So what's super challenging about acrylics? Aside from what I mentioned with the color mixing and the application on the canvas itself, those are actually your main problems. Uh, when working on canvas, when I was in school, we were told that it would be nice or ideally you apply a layer of gesso which is like an acrylic white paint on top of your canvas so you don't need to draw on the fibers of the canvas itself. This lessens the amount of paint you need to use. It also makes it a lot easier to apply since the, sm since the surface becomes smooth. I already did that with this painting but I guess I'm not used to it anymore. It's been a year since I last painted it with acrylics so um, I diluted the paints too much. Another thing with acrylic is you need to keep on layering your paints. So for this skirt, I was using out of the tube paints and as you can see it's very diluted, even I don't know why. And this is just your base coat. After this, in order to get your shadows and your highlights, you'll have to layer over it again. And particularly with the skirt, I had a hard time doing said layers. And I got frustrated, I had to stop for a while, do it again the next day, and I guess what I learned was that if you're the type, unless you're the type rather, that is fueled by the emotions, the rage when they paint, uh, if you start getting frustrated in your painting, stop, just stop, and get back to it again. Don't look at it for a few hours or even an entire day. And then when you get back to it, it's sort of easier to, de to deal with, like your brain is no longer angered by the sight of the mess you made. Right now, it's not a mess yet. What you'll see in a moment or two, it'll become hella murky and like black. Also with acrylics for some reason, I guess maybe because you can't see the lines, when you paint like it's super messy and you're not sure if your painting will turn out nice or if you'll be able to paint what you envisioned. And just trust the process I guess. Because with me in the end it did turn out, sure the colors weren't what I really wanted them to be, but I did somehow manage to portray what I wanted to portray and just trust with oils and acrylics with 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 the pigments that color or cover up your your lines just trust the process trust that you know what you're painting and then hope for the best <laughs> especially me this time I'm used to I've been super used to watercolor and seeing the lines that losing it and having to deal with paint that really doesn't give me much flexibility with fine details. It was really daunting for me. But I wanted to finish this. I wanted to sh show you guys. Well, with this video alone being 16, 16 minutes, I pretty much showed you guys that this is tough. <laughs> um, and it's fine to have, a, to have a tough time. Just don't give up, I guess. Honestly, I have another acrylic painting that should have gone up before this video. 
and it was supposed to have gone up in November. But I wasn't able to finish the painting because I got super frustrated with what was turning out and I decided to stop it for a while and then I forgot about it. <laughs> so maybe next year that will be released, hopefully. I'm kind of back in the groove again since I managed to do an entire painting with, with acrylic. And then maybe later on I'll do oils as well. Though oils really take a long time to dry so we'll see about that. Also, there's a dog barking in the background. I'm really sorry. Our neighbor's dogs like really love barking and <laughs> they feel that they own the damn road. <laughs> so I apologize if this video is long as I mentioned and maybe as you can see, I am having a tough time dealing with acrylics and it is already really sped up from the moment I exported it from my phone but this is as fast as it can go without being dizzying. So by this time, in this part of the video, I sort of get, got the hang of dealing with acrylics and as already, my emotions regarding it reset already. I was using some pastel -y purple with some paint spray in it, or rather with some blue in it, and I'm using out of the tube purple to blend it in, and it was okay, I guess. I will hopefully be able to learn how to completely control acrylic someday because the way I paint with acrylic and oil is how I paint with my digital works so it's not like my watercolor actually my, let's say the process is a bit different so if you compare this digital painting or my digital paintings with this acrylic painting they're kind of similar with how I do it oh man 16 minutes is tough I'm used to doing 10 minute videos, so talking for 16 minutes, honestly, my throat is not used to it. <laughs> so now I'm adding in some white highlights. Um, off screen, which I just cut out, I added in some white paint to the areas that are still white. This so that there's some form of base white paint already. Because I'm planning to use like really light colors on them, like yellow and a sky blue. So I don't need to deal with having to do a base coat anymore and keep on painting and painting over to the same color and potentially darkening that color. Yada yada yada. So now you can see it's starting to come to form, um, especially with the details added, and later it'll turn out somewhat near to what I envisioned. And I sort of trusted the process, sort of. <laughs> so I'm adding the gold trim. And since I did add a layer of white under it earlier, it was a lot easier. Now I'm mixing in some sky blue to the glove and her leggings. And some white to blend that out. And unfortunately, I was unable to capture the part where I did her hair and her face, I forgot to press record and well, you didn't miss much since it was just uh, out of the tube paints gray so I didn't do a lot of blending and for her face I just used out of the tube burnt umber. Yes, burnt umber.
So we're just adding some snow and some sparkly stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. I do a lot of fan art, speed paints, traditional art, digital art, and stuff like that. Please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or DeviantArt as well. And I'll see you around. And hey, Merry Christmas!